So do you find earned value analysis formulas challenging to remember and confusing? For me, I hated earned value analysis and I spent hours upon hours just reading the entire same page from the PMBOK guide just to understand what every single term meant. So in today's video, I'm demystifying the most critical earned value analysis formulas that you need to know so that you can pass your PMP exam on your first try. So let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alvin and we're all about helping you become certified in project management and passing your PMP exam. So if you're looking to advance your careers within project management, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for me so you don't miss any of my future videos. So we all know that the PMP exam is a situational based exam, but it may ask you a few questions which test your ability to apply your knowledge regarding earned value analysis. While there are more than 10 earned value formulas, I strongly encourage you to focus your efforts on learning these top four. So before we go any further, if you need any help studying for your PMP exam, and if you want to learn from someone who's recently passed the PMP exam above target in all domains, make sure you sign up for my free five day master your PMP exam bootcamp course over at alvinthepm.com forward slash bootcamp. Now let's first understand the meaning behind the key variables used in these formulas. The first one is earned value, which essentially is a measure of how much work has been completed. Or the way that I like to think about it is from a monetary standpoint, how much have you earned so far for the work that's being performed? The second one is planned value, which tells you as of today, what is the planned budget for completing your scheduled work? And the final variable is actual cost, which is exactly what it implies. How much money did you actually spend to complete your work? Now that we have that out of the way, let's go through the first group of formulas associated with cost and schedule variance. Schedule variance is the difference between earned value and planned value, and it tells you whether your project is ahead of schedule or behind schedule. Cost variance, on the other hand, is the difference between earned value and actual cost. In other words, what's the difference between what you expected to spend versus what you actually spent? It tells you whether your project is over budget or under budget. The easy way to remember these formulas is that both equations start with EV and both involve the use of a minus sign. So SV equals EV minus PV and CV equals EV minus AC. The way that you interpret these formulas is actually quite easy. For both of these formulas, if the result is less than zero, then it's negative and it's bad news for your project. If SV is less than zero, then your project is behind schedule. If CV is less than zero, your project is over budget. Now, on the other hand, if the result is greater than zero, then it's positive and it's great news for your project. If SV is larger than zero, your project is ahead of schedule. But if CV is larger than zero, your project is under budget. But what does it mean if SV or CV equals zero? Well, it just means that your project is either on track or on budget. Now, before I move on to the next section, if you like what you've seen so far, let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. It helps me know what kind of content that you like so I can continue to make more of it. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. The second group of earned value analysis formulas that you need to master are the performance indexes for both schedule and cost. Think of these index formulas as a ratio between earned value and planned value or earned value and actual cost. So the first one, schedule performance index, is earned value divided by your planned value and it tells you how efficient has your scheduled performance been. The way that I interpret it is how effective have we been at performing our work on time. And the second one, cost performance index, is earned value divided by your actual cost and it tells you how efficient has your cost performance been. In other words, how effective have we been at performing our activities within budget. Regardless of which formula you're using, earned value will always be the value in the numerator. So SPI equals EV divided by PV and CPI equals EV divided by AC. 
Just like the other formulas, interpreting these results is also quite easy. If the result is less than zero, then it's negative and it's bad news for your project. If SPI is less than zero, then your project is behind schedule. If CPI is less than zero, then your project is over budget. Now on the other hand, if the result is greater than zero, then it's positive and great news for your project. If SPI is larger than zero, your project is ahead of schedule. If CPI is larger than zero, then your project is below budget. But what exactly does it mean if SPI or CPI equals zero? Well, again, it just means that your project is on track. Now that you know what each of these formulas mean, let's take a stab at answering a practice question. You are leading your team to develop a new construction home in the downtown area, and you've calculated the following metrics. Earn value equals $15,000, Actual cost equals $30,000 and plan value is $5,000. Is the project ahead of schedule or behind schedule? And are we over budget or under budget? So here's your action plan for today. I want you to pause the video right now, solve the question and write down your answer in the comment section below. What is your answer to today's practice question? I'll reveal how I solve this question in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this to help you pass your PMP exam. If you'd like to practice more PMP exam practice questions and learn more about the difference between the agile and the predictive project management approaches, check out these other videos that I've made up over here to the side by clicking or tapping the screen over here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Alvin helping you become certified in project management and I'll see you in the next video.